Welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm gonna keep the intro super short and sweet so that we can just get pretty much straight into it. But if you hadn't gathered from the title and the thumbnail, this week I'm gonna be working out like your favorite fitness influencers slash youtubers i kind of wanted to do this to test this out if you've watched a few of my videos recently you'll know that i'm trying to exercise a bit more during january also sorry that i have a blue tongue right now i had a blue lollipop because life is about balance yes this is a workout video but also yes it's okay to eat <laughs> for it blue sweets anyway as i was saying you guys might know i'm trying to exercise a little bit more and i thought it'd be fun to test out various different fitness channels see what works best for me now i'm not gonna lie i got this video idea from a youtuber called linda sun i've actually never heard of her before but this video came up in my recommended on youtube and i thought oh my gosh i really want to give that a go so i will link her video and her channel down below that is where the inspo came from but without further ado we're just gonna get straight into it i have picked four female fitness influences i don't want you guys to think at all that I'm like comparing them against each other or like trying to say that any of them are like really bad or really good this is literally just my personal experience doing these workouts and that to be honest every single person that I mentioned in this video is incredible at what they do and are probably really suited to specific people even if they weren't suited to me so we are gonna get straight into it we're gonna flash back to day one of this challenge and I'm not gonna lie guys I haven't been able to walk properly since this day so good <laughs> let's go I have just woken up and I want to wash my hair first thing this morning. It really needs a wash. So there's really no point in waiting until after I've washed my hair to do a workout. My least favourite things about working out every single day. And this is a first world problem. And also don't work out every single day. When you get really properly sweaty, your hair gets really dirty. And I don't wash my hair every day. Like, I wash my hair like twice a week. So then it's like, do you just do workouts on the days that you wash your hair? Or do you just have dirty hair all the time? Like how do people combat that? Peak that my pyjamas are just on there. I'm a mess. Day one, we are kicking it off with Pamela Reef. Literally just because that is the order I wrote this down in, there is no other reason. I have done her workouts before, quite a lot of them actually. I actually really like her dance workouts. I think they're like the perfect level of I am a beginner but I can also do this. However, I have gone for the workouts that she is doing literally today. So I went on her Instagram. This woman works out like a machine. She is built like nobody I've ever seen. She just is like good at what she does, you know? And today she was doing one eight minute full body workout and one 10 minute trained waist workout. She was also doing it in like the Swiss Alps or somewhere. It looked very beautiful. Her backdrop was a lot nicer than mine is gonna be. Total's about 18 minutes. Actually not that long, but I know that they are quite intense. The hair's going up by the way guys. The hair is going up. Okay guys, we've come downstairs. I've got Pamela Reef's YouTube channel up on my telly. I have never done any of her like full body workouts or like targeted area workouts. I've literally only ever done her dance cardio workouts, which is way more me. So the one I'm gonna start with, cause I feel like it makes the most sense is the full body workout. Sort of feel like I'm gonna regret this. Oh, she's got friends in this workout. I should probably like move, shouldn't I? I'm gonna turn it down so that I can talk as well. I feel like she was a dancer in a previous life because she's really good at like keeping in time and like choreographing like dance routine. My body doesn't do that, like I simply can't follow it. Also she's so good at squats, I believe her legs might be made of steel. So much squatting in these. Can I do a plank guys? Let's be honest. No. Please don't put another plank. Right, have I died? Look at my heart rate. <laughs> oh my god. Quite a lot of jumping in these workouts. It's so not great if you have like a downstairs neighbor. I look like I'm doing an Irish jig compared to her. Woo, woo, not another plank. Okay, well I'm looking particularly hot. This whole video is gonna be like that, I'm sorry. Workout, uh, <laughs> workout number one is done. I'm not super, super sweaty. I am super out of breath and you saw my heart rate halfway through. It's now dropped down to 155. That was when I was doing like jumping jacks. It went up to like 200. <sighs> That's how unfit I am. This is the next workout. It's a 10 minute trained waist workout. This is gonna be down on the floor a lot, I reckon. 10 minutes also feels like forever. After I just did eight minutes, which felt like a lifetime, 10 minutes is gonna feel so long. I can never work out this room that she's in either. Is it like really regal or is that just wallpaper? Oh no, my tummy says no to that. What's happening here? My body just doesn't move like that. <laughs> it's the way she sits up at the end and claps like that didn't just kill her off. She sits there and she's like, 
good for you, Pamela. Some of us aren't that fit. Oh, I do actually really like her workout. I think I should stick to her dance workouts and her beginner friendly workouts, but. Oh. On a scale of difficulty, I'm gonna give it like a no, um, no, not a nine. Maybe like a seven and a half for a beginner. Like, I just don't have the core strength to be able to do all of the stuff on the floor. Like, I don't have the core strength or the upper body strength. Like, my arms can't really hold my weight. So that makes it quite hard when a lot of the things are like plank. Because like, these little spindly arms are not holding a plank. And I know your plank comes from your core, but I have like serious strength issues. We're gonna progressively see just how unfit I am as this challenge goes on, so. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. I can't believe my heart rate got to 200 within the first five minutes. <sighs> now I need a shower. Good morning. Welcome to day two of working out like your favorite fitness influencers on YouTube. Oh. Right, not to be dramatic, I've just woken up. And today on the list is Madfit. Now to me, Madfit is like pretty well known for her dance workouts, or maybe again, that's just because I like doing dance workouts. I have just gone down her Instagram to look at my hair. Have a look like what it is that she's up to right now. And she's doing a 21 day like challenge, but on her app, and obviously I don't have her app. She has put on Instagram kind of like a breakdown of each day. And today would be dance slash Pilates. Pilates? Pilates? So instead of following on her app, I've just gone to her YouTube channel because she's got so many videos and I'm just going to do two. I'm going to do one dance workout, one Pilates workout and I'm going to do the Taylor Swift all too well dance workout because I did not know she had done that. I just don't see how you can dance to that song. Yeah, basically I'm just going to pick two, maybe three of her workouts that fall under those categories. Wow. That is probably not going to stay. No, it's not. Too much hair for this. Ta da Gone for a little matching blue and orange set today. This is from Fabletics. Whatever you see me working out in is probably from Fabletics. I have a lot of their stuff and I really like all of it. Right, we're gonna go. I feel a bit more motivated today. I feel like these dance workouts might be more fun yesterday. The second half of it was very ab heavy. And although I don't mind an ab workout, I just feel like I haven't done it in ages. So my body was like, what are you doing? Oh, I don't, I don't ache this morning. So probably just didn't work hard enough. Okay, watch is on, let's go. Hey, we're back in the living room. We've got mad fit on the telly today. So I'm gonna start with a little warm up of the all too well dance workout because on her Instagram today she is dancing. I don't know where this workout is. I presume it's somewhere near here. I've definitely seen it. There it is. What a choice. The urge to sing during this one is going to be high. Very high. Or cry. I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot if this was a lot of like actual ballet. Oh, did you hear my hips? Oh no, it's ballet. And I'm maybe This is not the move, but this is my move. That made me want to die. So I'm quite sweaty after that, even though it wasn't like super fast. The top comment on that video is, you don't realize how long this song is until you dance to it. And they are not wrong. So I'm moving on to the second workout, which is the 15 minute good morning Pilates workout. Um, I'll leave all the workouts that I've done down below. <sighs> I used to be so good at touching my ties, guys. Oh, thank God for that. I hate it. It's just up the ground. Hmm, I'm not bending the right. She is bending better than me. Here's your rating for how hard or how easy it was. I am not super, super sweaty because it wasn't super fast. Like it wasn't high intensity, but I am really out of breath. My heart rate got up to like 170. So yesterday it got up to 200. I thought I might actually pass away. Today it was a slower workout, but I feel like I've really stretched my muscles more. Like the, the, the back of my legs that like I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. Yeah, I'm still out of breath, but like I feel like I could do it again kind of thing. So I did the exact same amount of time as yesterday's workout, which was like 25 five minutes it was good i i don't think mad fit is my favorite just because they are quite like i know nothing about the girl but i feel like she was probably a dancer like a ballet dancer she's very like poised I've never done ballet i don't know what any of that is so yeah i feel like i i find it harder to follow because of that but overall some really fun workouts i know are well put together well laid out easy to follow good for all like athletic levels my calves are gonna kill tomorrow look this is how you know if the workout's been good is my baby her doing that <laughs> 
Okay, it is day four. I look so pale. Um, today on my list is Lily Sabri. I'm feeling so much better rested. My limbs are working again, which is great. So I'm gonna check Lily Sabri's Instagram and see what kind of workout she has been doing today. The only thing I will say is I'm really hoping it is like upper body or arm in an ideal world because like my legs are still not quite there. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, she's got a daily challenge. Let's have a look. Okay, scrap that. I'm just gonna go into her YouTube and instead pick her most recent video. Oh, I have done one of her workouts before. I don't remember doing that. Oh my God, why are they all leg workout? Upper body and abs, 20 minute workout. That sounds perfect. That is literally what I was just describing. She uploaded it. Oh, she did it as a live stream a month ago. Kind of what we're going for. We've been leg heavy so far. We kind of did like a lot of legs. Yesterday I did a lot of walking and we're going for this one here. Can you see it? The one that's 38 minutes long. Oh, Lily, let's go. Right, we're going for this one. I don't have any weight. Well, we're just gonna try it. Guys, she's working with it already. Look at her dog. Okay, so that workout requires like weights and resistance bands and I don't have any of that stuff in the house. I do have some resistance bands in the garage, but I'm gonna swap to a cardio workout instead, which is the next one along, um, to red light, green light, which I presume is from like Squid Game. So we're switching it up, but I think this one will probably be higher intensity. So let's try it. Oh guys, her dog's still there. I like this because she's doing a warm up, guys. None of the others have done a warm up. I used to be able to touch my toes, now I can't even get halfway down. Oh, jumpy. Star jumped. Oh, I like this version of working out. Red light, green light. Love her dog. That rate is pretty goddamn high on this one, guys. Guys, there is something about a burpee that is criminal. Like, <laughs> no. Look who's joined me. Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Look at the heart rate, guys. It's pretty, pretty high. That is Lily Sabri. Done. I think that was probably the sweatiest workout and the workout where my heart rate was the highest consecutively Like it was like above 170 the whole time, which I know is not like a good thing I'm not being like wow look how hard I work. I'm like wow look how unfit I am But yeah, it was a 20 minutes high intensity cardio workout and it was still quite painful on the old legs But I probably enjoyed that one the most. That is my Lily Sabri review I was gonna say I wish you could see the sweat, but I'm glad you can't Okay, it is the final day of this challenge. I did actually tell you that I was taking the middle day as a rest day, so I worked out Monday, Tuesday, had a rest day on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I just accidentally deleted that middle clip where I explained that I was having a rest day and that I was gonna get 10,000 steps instead. Basically, I just had that as a rest day because my legs were super achy and I was like, I'm gonna injure myself. Like I literally, I'm my whole body aches. And then we came back and did yesterday's. Anyway, hi. Today is the last day of this challenge. And in my opinion, I think I have saved the worst slash the hardest until last because the last fitness influencer that I am gonna be doing is Chloe Ting. Now I have literally just woken up. The last thing I really wanna do is a Chloe Ting workout. I'm not gonna lie, I find them really hard. I think that everything she does is like quite advanced quite fit people maybe i'm wrong i hold my hands up like if you love doing her workouts maybe i am just incredibly unfit but she is the fitness influencer that i'm going to be following along with today i just had a look at some of her most recent youtube videos and last week she actually uploaded a 20 minute full body hit workout so we're going to be doing that i feel like we've done legs we've done abs we've done cardio so this is kind of like all of that <laughs> hit workouts are really hard let's go Okay, this is the one I'm going for. Can you tell that I prefer standing up workouts? Like, I kind of skip past the ones that are like on the floor just because I don't really like doing those. We're gonna start with this. We're gonna see how it is. She uploaded it 12 days ago. Also, can I just say, she's absolutely smashing YouTube. Like, she uploads so consistently and like every single video pulls so many views. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, weight loss hit. Shall I do that one? Yeah, challenge 2022. Oh, 28 days you meant to do this for. Well, one day we'll have to do. Let's go. Oh, okay, we're starting up with the hoodie on guys because it is absolutely freezing in here. So I'm hoping this warms me up. I just get the urge to dance when they use music, like, what's that dancing? Oh god. 
gosh. This is how you pop out your knee socket, guys, this next move. So you go down, jump, down, jump. like high intensity which I guess makes sense. I'm hot. <sighs> Her rests are so short like there's not even time for me to get a drink. <laughs> Ooh, where are the rests? Chloe Ting. Heart rate 194. <laughs> Also known as nearly dead. POV, you watch the full ad to get more break time. Great job guys, no rest here, hopping high knees on it. High knees again. This time it's hopping high knees. <sighs> Let's do be stretching my leg muscles. Whoa. Do I have an ab line after like five days? No. <laughs> What? What is happening? So it's like a jumping jack and then a tuck jump. Jumping jack, tuck. I'm gonna hit the light. Look at my baby hairs. Look at my upside down heart rate of 199 beats per minute. Are you joking? So without doubt, this is the workout that's kept my heart rate at the highest throughout all of it. It's dropping now because I've just finished and sat down. But like, this is <laughs> this is only a 12 minute workout. I think this is probably the one where I've got the sweatiest because like the time didn't matter. I was like dripping with sweat within three minutes. Like, can you see? I don't think you can. You can, and I probably would guess you don't want to either. But that is by far the sweatiest workout that I've done. Actually though, I do think that I enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to, so let's give her credit where it's due. I was like, oh my God, she's gonna be my least favorite workout, but it wasn't actually. But I think that's because I picked a standing up one. I am sweating. That brings us to the end of this weekly challenge. It wasn't my favourite video I've ever filmed, however I do think it was one of the more rewarding ones. It challenged me. Every single morning when I woke up I thought, oh, I don't really want to do this. But then by the time I'd done it, I actually hadn't hated it and it was actually okay. I think if I'm going to pick an overall favourite, I would probably say that Pamela Reef is my favourite to work out to. Even though I find her workouts hard, the ones I did weren't my favourites I've ever done, but I think as an overall channel, she has a really, really good variety and I, I really really like her dance workouts, I've said that before. However, I was pleasantly surprised by the Chloe Ting workout that I did. I quite enjoyed it and I didn't find it as hard as I remembered her being. But like I say, all of these influencers, fitness gurus are great for different things, great for different reasons. And I will link all four channels down below if you haven't heard of them. It's worth checking them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's a challenge that kind of reminds me of one I would have filmed in lockdown, but was fun to do nevertheless and motivated me to exercise. Subscribe if you are new to my channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads and there are going to be some good ones coming soon and i shall see you guys on thursday this week bye guys